Good morning and um, welcome to our painting class and um, uh, our thinking particularly about Good Friday and Easter. So what you will need is a piece of paper like I have here, um, some water, some um, if you've got a, a big paintbrush and a little one then um, that will be that will be helpful and we're just going to use three colors um, we're going to use blue brown and red and some tissue paper so let's start and the first thing we need to do is you need some water water if you're using watercolor paints is probably the most important thing and um, we probably don't use enough of it so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to cover your paper with the water. Now you can decide whether you want to go half, half um, two thirds down or one third up, but don't do it to the middle. You're much better doing it a little bit up or a little bit down. Don't don't do it in the middle. So we just got water. So I've just done it a third third up there, and it's just just water. And then I'm going to do my sky. Now what we do with the sky is obviously we're going to use blue and I'm not using quite a dark blue because we know the sky turned black when Jesus was crucified and so we're, we're going to use a, a, a dark a dark blue and what we're going to do is we start off really dark at the top. Can you see it's really really dark and we're going to go down and as we come down just keep coming down and it's going to get lighter as you as you come down just like that just back and forward back and forward back and forward with your with your paintbrush you see and then we're going to put the clouds in now we're going to do this by crumpling up some tissue paper and we're just going to tap your sky and you're going to put the the clouds in. I don't know if you can see that. So you're just tapping with the tissue paper and taking off some of the paint. And then I'm going to put the, the sun in. Now we know the sky turned back and we, we think there was probably an eclipse of the sun and so but I'm going to put in the, the sun and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my tissue paper again and I'm just going to take again the paint off so I'm just going to dab it like this in a circle like that so we've got the the sun. It's very rare that you actually see the sun just as a as a ball so it's quite good if you can just do it just tap it off in a, in a general circle like that. There we are hopefully you can you can see that. Then we're going to come come down. Now when we think of Calvary and we think of the old hymn, there is a green hill far away. But in actual fact, Israel isn't very green and certainly wasn't then at all because it's a very dry and hot country. And we're told that Jesus was crucified in the place of the skull. In other words, wherever he was crucified, it looked like it was a skull. It was rugged and it would have been by the side of the road because they used to crucify, the Romans crucified criminals by the side of the road so that people could see the horror and the pain that they were enduring so that it would stop other people disobeying the law. So we know that Jesus would have been crucified somewhere where people could see and we know that people mocked him and shouted at him and so we know that it was where he could be seen so we're not going to do green what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the wash your wash your brush and we're going to take a little bit of brown and again 
some water and this time this bit is dry and we're going to leave that dry and we're going to add the water afterwards so we're going to put a little bit of of brown now we're just going to do it almost tap it on because you don't want the you don't want it to be a, a straight straight line we're just going to tap it on and then what we're going to do is we're going to use some of that blue very watery and we're just going to bring it on here and let it just drip down the page and just add more water you don't need any paint on your brush just use more water and it's going to come down so it's going to begin to look like stone can you see so we've got the brown at the top there but it's coming down and we're leaving bits of white as well and we're just leaving it like that I'm going to let that dry for a minute and whilst it dries um, I'm going to introduce you to my son my son George is going to come and he's going to sing a beautiful song about Good Friday and it's called above all Rejected 
stand alone like a rose trampled on the ground. You do fall. Thought of me above all like a rose trampled on the ground. You took the fall. Thought of me above all. Thank you, George. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Reminds us that Good Friday is about God showing his love for us by sending his son, Jesus, to die for us. And you know, the most amazing thing is that hundreds and hundreds of years before that took place, there was a man called Isaiah who was given a vision by God and God told him exactly what was going to happen. Let me read to you from Isaiah 53. Who would have believed our message to whom the arm of the Lord has been revealed? He grew up like a tender shoot and like root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should dis desire him. He was dis despised and rejected by, by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hid their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. That's quite complicated language, really. But what it's saying is that Jesus took our sin to the cross and paid the price for it. Let's go back to our picture. As you can see, it um, fell down halfway through George's lovely song. So uh, let's see if we can get it up uh, again there. We're going to put in the cross. Now the cross was such a barbaric thing. You know sometimes we see it today as an ornament, as a thing of beauty. In fact one of my core folk complained last year that um, our cross was looking as if it was just two bits of wood. But so it should. <laughs> That's what it was. It was two bits of wood that criminals were hung on. It was the most barbaric way of putting someone to death. Now, you have to decide where you want your, your cross. If you want your cross as if it's very close to you, then you draw a big cross. If you want your cross in the background, then you need to draw a smaller cross. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush. I've got a bit of a, a, a smaller brush because I don't want my cross to be very big. And I'm just going to take some of the the brown and I'm just going to do the cross and cross there. Can you see that? So just do a cross there and we know that Jesus was actually crucified with two other men. There's one on his right and one on his left. So I'm going to do two other crosses, but I'm going to do them a little bit smaller. One there. And one there. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the blue that we used before. And I'm just going to go down the side of the, the, the cross just to make it look as if it's a bit thicker. 
So it's just going to go down either side there and there and there. There we are. Now I'm not going to put a figure on my cross because I want to remember that we as Christians remember an empty cross because Jesus isn't still hung there because Jesus raised from the dead. So I'm going to keep mine um, an, an empty, empty cross. But it reminds me of the sacrifice that, that Jesus showed for me. And we're just going to put, to make it look a bit more realistic, we're just going to put the shadow. Now if you remember, we put the, the sun up there. And so the shadow's coming behind the cross. So what we need to do is you can use brown or you can use blue. Make it quite watery and just put in the lines. I'm going to put a little bit of brown there. Down that way and that way. And just a little bit there. And there just so that you can you can see so that you can see it just there I've just knocked my water flying but never mind we'll clear that up later <laughs> so there's the the picture of the cross you know for many people they would just look at that and say well it's a it's a lovely picture for me, when I look at that, I remember that Jesus paid the penalty for my sin. And I can be forgiven of all the things that I do wrong because of Jesus. Let me try and explain it in a very simple way. If you have a messy bedroom <laughs> and I ask you, um, will you tidy up your bedroom? and you have a carpet in the bedroom, then um, you may do, like some of my children used to do, throw everything under the carpet, put the carpet over, and, and that's it, say your room is clean. <laughs> in many ways, that's what the Jews used to do. Every year, they would have a sacrifice, and they would have all their sins covered by that sacrifice and so it was um, an idea that every year you could have your sins covered so that God didn't see your sins. <laughs> now when Jesus came Jesus did something remarkable. Jesus didn't just cover our sins. Jesus totally obliterated our sins. He totally, totally cleaned the bedroom. There is no, no hidden things that Jesus can't see. He totally cleans us completely. That's what the cross means. And that's why it can make such a difference to, to you and I. And when we look at the cross, we remember that Jesus died for us. And I hope that whatever, however your picture has, has come out this morning, um, I pray that as you look at your picture, you will remember that you are forgiven by Jesus when we ask him into our lives and when we ask him to forgive our sins. We're going to sing a little song together. I know you will know it. And um, it's just when I survey the wondrous cross. And perhaps you want to look at your picture whilst we sing this song. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died my richest gain I can but loss and poor content on all my pride forbid it Lord that I should boast save in the death I 
sacrifice them to his blood see from his head his hands his feet sorrow and love for me compose so rich a crown were the whole realm of nature mine that were an offering far too small love so demands my soul, my life, my all, demands my soul, my life, my all. I invite you to just pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his death on the cross. And just now, Lord, we claim that forgiveness that you have offered. We may not understand it all, but we do know that you died for us so that we can be clean. And so just at this moment, Lord, forgive us all the things that we do wrong. Forgive us the times when we forget about you and put ourselves first. Forgive us when we make other things more important than our love for you. And pray, Lord, that you will wash us clean. And may we be new people with new lives, walking with you day by day. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed our little um, painting lesson and I hope your, your pictures come out really well. Perhaps if you haven't done it now, you want to try later and um, upload it so that we can see what you've done. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye bye. God bless.